Hello and welcome to Hyperdog Digital. This is Scott, and we are looking at today the Lenovo ThinkPad Z13. Now, if you saw one of my last videos of the Z16, you are not seeing double. This is almost virtually identical to the Z16, uh, except it is a little bit smaller. This is a 13 inch laptop. Again, it's also AMD based. Uh, this is a business class laptop, just a little bit smaller than the Z16, uh, maybe a little less powerful as well, but but certainly a really nice laptop, and it really has, uh, it really is the little brother of the uh, the Z16, at least in, in my mind, because like I said, it, it is almost exactly like it, save the size. So again, uh, on the back, there's not a whole lot going on there. On the bottom, a little bit of venting, a couple of speakers here, and then your rubber feet, nothing too exciting. Same on the top, your logos and your Z13 and all this kind of stuff here at the top. So uh, on, we'll start with uh, this side over here. You can see it is a little bit of a different, let me see if we can get focused in there. A little bit of a different setup. All right, so you can see you have your headphone jack all the way over here and you have your power button and then a USB type C connection right here. And then over on the other side, so over here again you have your USB Type-C, which is also used for charging, and nothing else. So not a whole lot, very few options as far as uh, ports go on this one. Uh, so there are a few, a few differences of course already uh, from the Z16, but the look and the shape and everything are pretty much identical. We go inside here, and you can see the keyboard looks very similar. Uh, just your standard keyboard layout, nothing too small, nothing too big, again backlit. Uh, you have your fingerprint reader again right here, built into the keyboard. Very nice, I do like that. It seems to work very well and uh, I didn't have any problems with it being there, accidentally hitting it or anything like that. Uh, your trackpad, your little pointer doohickey here in the middle, and then a nice 13 inch screen here. Let's see if we got enough power to bring this up. All right, so there is the screen there, so you can get a good idea of the size of the bezels on the sides. Again, very small on the sides, on the bottom, and then the top you have your camera. Nothing too crazy, but very nice, very nice screen. This one is a touch screen, as you can see here, but it's a very nice screen. I actually like this screen a little bit better than the Z16. Uh, it just seems a little crisper, a little brighter. Uh, really, uh, the colors just seem to pop out a little bit more than I thought on the uh, the Z16, but uh, they're both very good, but I, I, I just like this one a little bit more. Maybe uh, a bit biased because it is a touchscreen, and when I don't have a touchscreen anymore, it seems like I'm doing this a lot uh, when it's uh, uh, looking for a touchscreen and it's it's not there. So, anyways, that's the, the laptop there pretty much. Pretty straightforward, like I said. Very nice, again, very sturdy, no creaks or anything, no give when I try and bend it. This also is uh, is put together with PET recycled aluminum, or I'm sorry, recycled aluminum, or you could get a PET recycled vegan leather top for it as well if you wanted that. Um, uh, of course, this one was the one that, that just has the aluminum, and I would prefer that anyways. Uh, I do like the the look of it, very nice, very premium nice shiny corners it uh, closes together very well very flush uh, not uh, any big openings or anything like that uh, that uh, would drive me nuts or anything like that so definitely very nice uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs for this and uh, we'll come back and give you our final thoughts
All right, so that is the specs for the ThinkPad Z13. Uh, again, I really like this laptop. It worked very well. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, it, it actually seems to be a little heavier. It, it, it's kind of strange because the Z16 was bigger, but I felt it was a little lighter for that size. This one being a 13-inch, it feels like it's got a little bit more weight than your normal 13-inch laptops. It's not bad, still, by any means. It's still a, a very light laptop. It'll still be very easy to carry around. Uh, but it, it just seems like it's got a little bit more weight than I'm used to with, with laptops of these sizes. But uh, it's still very solid. It's got a very nice premium look to it. Uh, again, I like the how everything just fits together real nicely. Nice, slick. Uh, polished uh, metal on the on the outside uh, very shiny very uh, you know I, I like shiny objects and stuff like that so works well for me certainly um, this starts at around twelve hundred dollars one thousand two hundred dollars and can go as high as two thousand two hundred dollars again very many options that you can set as far as the RAM and the processor and the hard drive and these such items. So your performance is definitely going to vary depending on which one you're getting. So know what your requirements are, what you plan on using it for, and make sure you spec it out appropriately because the, uh, the performance will vary depending on that. I didn't have any problems using it. Certainly everything that I use it for worked very well. It's not a gaming laptop, so I didn't do any major gaming or anything like that with it. But all of my business type stuff, using using Office, using the internet, using Google, um, anything uh, anything else you can possibly think of, productivity wise or anything like that, uh, worked flawlessly. It didn't have any problems. Uh, it is not a two in one, as you can see. We'll open this up here. It will go back that far. That's about all you got. Uh, but. If you're not looking for a two-in-one, uh, then this uh, this will be work. This will work out just fine. Uh, very nice looking. I, I, I liked it a lot. Didn't have any problems with it. Battery life was as you would expect. Again, uh, easily get a full day of just normal usage. Um, but of course, uh, jumping up to uh, you know doing a lot of media or anything like that is gonna is gonna drag that down. So. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. And we'll see you again next time on HyperDog Digital. Thanks. Hey, this is Scott for HyperDog Digital. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos and reviews, be sure to check us out at HyperDogDigital.com. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you know when we put up new content. If there's something you'd like us to review or you have a product you want to send us for a review, feel free to send us an email at reviews at hyperdogdigital.com. We're also looking for sponsors right now, so if you are interested in being a sponsor for our channel, contact us at sponsor at hyperdogdigital.com. All of our social media links and emails are in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.